Hello everyone, I'm Caitlin Harji Colarina and I'm in grade 4 Maria Montessori and today I'm going to share an English story and the title is King Midas and His Golden Touch. There was once a Greek king who was rich in gold but wished for more gold. His name was Midas. In his palace was a vault where he kept his treasures of gold jewelry, coins, ladles, dust, figurines, and calces. King Midas thought if everything in the palace were gold, he would be the richest king in the world, and he would be able to give his beloved daughter everything she wished for. One day, the god of happiness, Bacchus, appeared before King Midas, with all the gold you have, why are you so sad, my friend? Bacchus said, what would make you happy? My wish is to have everything I touch turn to gold, King Maida said. Tomorrow your wish will be granted, the god said before he disappeared. When he awoke the next morning, King Maida touched the edge of his blanket and the whole fabric turned to gold. He was overjoyed. Everything he touched turned to gold. The curtain, the doorknob, the balustrade, all turned to gold at his touch. At the breakfast table, King Midas sat down to eat. Alas, the bread turned to gold when he touched it. All the food he touched turned to gold. Soon he became hungry but could not eat anything. He got worried. Just then, his daughter came into the room. Before he could prevent himself from doing so, King Midas had hugged her, and she was turned into a gold statue. King Midas was stricken with grief. He could not accept the fact that even his daughter had turned into gold. He was ready to give up all the gold he had in exchange for the life of his daughter. Just then, Bacchus appeared again. King Midas begged the god to take away the gift of golden touch because it had cost him his beloved daughter. Wash your hands at the river in the garden to get rid of the golden touch, Bacchus said. Then sprinkle water from the river on all the things you've touched to turn them back to the way they were before. King Midas at once heeded the advice of Bacchus. He sprinkled water from the river on his daughter who immediately came back to life. He did the same to all the things that had turned to gold after he touched them. King Midas realized that no amount of gold could equal the life of his daughter. The end. And the moral lesson of the story is, do not be greedy. Every act of greed has a price. Thank you!